Welcome one, come all, everybody. Welcome into Texan Live's coverage of high school basketball presented by Texan Drive. And we are coming at you live from Summer Creek High School in a matchup featuring Summer Creek Bulldogs and the Kingwood Mustangs, both competitors of the recent Sparity Holiday Classic. Summer Creek going three and one, losing only to the champion, Cy Creek. Overall, they are 11 and 6. And this is their first district matchup, though Kingwood has already played one, defeating Oak Ridge. Kingwood's overall record is 10 and 12. But what matters is right now, and that's district, they are 1 and 0. Kingwood and their Navy. Uh, Columbia trip. And of course, Summer Creek and their home white. Kingwood and Summer Creek are underway. First shot of the game. A fake attempt and a pass inside to Fabian White. White is going to be called for traveling. Fabian White, the only sophomore starter in the lineup. His presence in there makes him look like a senior. There's the first shot of the game that's up and in. It's by Summer Creek. 2 nothing. We've played just about a minute. Here's the first shot attempt there by Kingwood. It is up and no good. Second attempt. This time, it is good. Second chance for Mitchell Klaus. And the Mustangs have a 3-2 lead with 6.45 remaining in the first. Foul is going to go against Matt Gresco in his first. Trying to get the ball downside to Thomas. Knocked away by King, but Summer Creek gets it back. Lay-in attempt, it's up and it's good. It's fouled in the process, he'll go to the free throw line. Had a chance for a three-point play. Free throw's no good, offensive rebound though. Is up and good by Summer Creek. They take a six to three lead. Looks like Ellis with the putback. Another three point attempt by Kingwood. Yes. Ties this game up at six. We play two minutes. Fresco looked like with the shot in the corner. Here's Thomas. He loses the ball down low. Tried to be. Kept in and alive, no, says the referee out of bounds. And to Kingwood. Klaus down to White. White with a pump fake and then puts it in. Kingwood with an 8-6 lead here early in the first quarter. 540 remaining. That's going to be a turnover. Offensive foul, it appears. I'll go against Mason Hamilton. His first. Outside once again, a three-pointer. Nope, off the back iron, no good. Here comes Summer Creek the other way. There's another and one opportunity. Paul Thomas this time with a nice pass from his teammate. Tying the score at eight. Oh 
And one is no good. The score remains tied. Matthews was called for a foul. His first. Burrell, Mustang point guard. With the ball, pass it on over to Gresco. His shot off the glass, no good. Rebounded to Summer Creek. Down the other way, a laying opportunity off the glass and no good. A Mustang right in his face. Back out to Thomas, and that'll be a jump ball. Possession, Summer Creek. So with 4.36 remaining, still an 8-8 game. Resco to Malloy, now to Burrell. Burrell up top, there's a sharp shooting three-pointer. Brian Butler can't hit this time. Butler was nailing some threes in the Holiday Classic over the break. Out to Butler again, as Malloy calls for it down low. Can't find an open spot for him, so Burrell will charge. He'll go up, left-handed shot off the backboard, and the iron and no good. Rebound to Summer Creek. Back the other way, the shot, no good. Looked like it may have been partially blocked, and now a jump ball is called between Butler and Thomas, possession to the Bulldogs. Timeout. So a 3.43, it is an eight to eight game. Between Summer Creek and Kingwood, you're watching Texan Live. Back from the timeout, there's an inbound to Thomas. Thomas over to Mitchell. Mitchell with the ball once again. He's trying to look for somebody down low, and there will be an offensive foul called against the Bulldogs. Corian Ballard will pick up the foul. His first. Three team fouls apiece. There's a nice bounce pass, but it's intercepted. And now it's fumbled around. They'll go back to Fabian White. They'll give it off to Gresco. There's a big fake attempt and some nice passing by Kingwood. And just as I say that, the ball's almost thrown away. Ballard will be the last one to touch it, according to the referees, as he and Gresco were wrestling for it. Out of bounds to the Mustangs. White looking to the corner. Malloy is going to try to take it in. Doesn't find an opening, so he passes it back out. And Mustang's trying to find a presence down low. A lot of movement going on. Looks 
seems like there will be an offensive foul called against Matt Malloy. His first, fourth team foul on the Mustangs. There's a reach in by Malloy. He'll be called for a reach in foul. Picks up his second foul. We're still at 8 8, 2 13 remaining in the first quarter. Nobody has scored in a while. Thomas controlling. Ball back. Now he'll swing it over to Matthews. Thomas. Ballard. A lot of pressure being added by White. Bulldogs finally get a shot off, and it's good. The first points in quite a while by either side, 11 to 8. Summer Creek with the lead, just under a minute and a half remaining in the first quarter. There's Nick Storm just into the game. Butler. Looking for White, finds him. White, find Malloy down low. Malloy with a nice left-handed lay-in is up and good. 11-10 Mustangs. Still trail the Bulldogs. Count that basket, says the referee. Another and one opportunity for the Bulldogs. Foul will go against Brian Butler. His first 16 foul on the Mustangs. One is good by Ballard. So he completes the three-point play, making it 14-10. 56 seconds remaining in the first quarter. White brings it across center court. Storm. comes White, he'll try to get it outside to Storm, and he can, and it's stolen up ahead. That looked like Theo Baker with the lay-in the other way, 16-10. Summer Creek increases their lead, down to 10 seconds in the quarter. Down to five. White is going to try one last attempt, but he's going to lose it out of bounds. As they're going to say, it actually last touched the Bulldog with two tenths of a second remaining. Oh, well, it doesn't seem like they're going to have time to catch and shoot. But here it is anyway, and that ball's going to be barely fingertip to end the first quarter. So we played one here at Summer Creek High School. The home team Bulldogs lead the Kingwood Mustangs 16 10. You're watching Texan Live.
Texan Live is brought to you by TexanDrive.com. Head on over to the Texan dealerships located on Will Clayton and 59 for great specials and deals on new and pre-owned vehicles. Go in and ask for head coach Burt Brocker or shop Texan GMC, Buick, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram 24-7 at TexanDrive.com. That's Texan Drive. We treat you better. Back to the action here at the start of the second quarter. Mustangs trailing 16 to 10 to the Summer Creek Bulldogs right now. There's a shot by Butler. No good. Looks as though there was a foul. Perhaps a loose ball foul down below. If it was, it was Charles Henderson on the foul. His first. Pass inside to White. White looking. Lays it up off the backboard and in after the pump fake. 16-12. They've only played 30 seconds in the second quarter. Thomas outside, a three-point attempt is no good. Rebound to Kingwood. Charles Henderson on the attempt for the Bulldogs. Back the other way. Bailey will find White at the top of the key. They'll swing it around. On over to Foley, and there's a foul down low once again. goes on Paul Thomas, his first. Now we've played exactly one minute here in the second quarter. Burel. A high pick. Foley trying to post up down low. And Summer Creek has really been playing man-to-man -man pretty well, not allowing the Mustangs much breathing room. They're going to say that ball last touch the Mustangs. It'll go to the Bulldogs. Thomas down low as he goes up and it's going to be a jump ball. No, that's going to be a foul. Looked like he had his thumbs up for a minute, but now he's going to call a foul. And that goes against Connor Foley, his first. Seventh team foul, so Summer Creek will be in the bonus the rest of the half. Paul Thomas shooting two. He gets one of two, 17-12. Summer Creek still with the lead. Just over six minutes remaining in the half. Here's Burrell. As he swings it over. They try to find White down low. They'll just bounce past him, go out of bounds, turnover to Summer Creek. Traylon Matthews controlling the point right now. Now over to Ballard. Ballard driving. He'll pass it on out for the jumper. That's up and good by Brian Mitchell. 19-12, Summer Creek with the lead. Klaus 
Looking for help, finds it, Gresco. Burrell, out in the corner. That shot's up and good by Matt Gresco. Makes it a four-point game, 19-15. With five minutes remaining in the half. There's a jumper by Thomas. And it's going to go up over the backboard. And out of bounds, ball to the Mustangs. Exactly five minutes now on the clock. A bit of pressure by the Bulldogs. Back under the rim in the reverse lane. It's no good by Brandon Burrell. Here comes Summer Creek the other way. Ballard down the baseline. And his lay-in is good. 21-15 Bulldogs over the Mustangs. Just over four minutes remain in the second quarter. That ball's thrown away by Burrell. He and Matt Gresco will try to figure out what went wrong there. Nonetheless, Summer Creek ball. be a foul against the Mustangs. Going Brandon Burrell, his first. So with Summer Creek being in the bonus, they will go to the free throw line. Like I said, the rest of the half, shooting one and ones. Shots up and good, he'll get another one. Two free throws are good. Summer Creek with the 23-15 lead, now under four minutes. Pass inside of White, and he's gonna be fouled before he gets an opportunity to put that in. Paul Thomas with his second, he had a foul, otherwise White would have gotten a, an easy two points. Pass into Malloy though. Malloy goes up strong, but he's fouled going up as the shot does not go. He'll go to the free throw line. Looked like for a moment Malloy wanted to dunk the ball. But with the hands up in the air, decided to try to hit it off the glass, but he's fouled anyway. Both free throws good by Malloy. Mustangs now trail 23-17. That ball is out of bounds to the Mustangs. Summer Creek with the turnover. Storm back into the game. And he finds White down low. White turns. There's going to be a call against him. I guess they're going to say he used his elbow. So White with the offensive foul. Both teams in the bonus the rest of the way. The rest of the half, that is. Now three minutes remain until the half.
Timeout is called. 2.56 left in the half. 23-17, Summer Creek over Kingwood. You're watching Texan Live. off the timeout, 23-17, still the score. Under three minutes left in the half. Summer Creek trying to hold on to that lead before the end of the half. Now traveling is going to be called against the Bulldogs. Turnover to the Mustangs. Whistle down low as Malloy finds White. No matter if he's in the act of shooting or not, he's getting free throws out of this. Foul goes against Isaiah Bean, his first. And White fails to get the free throw, thus he will not get another one. So a six-point game, 23-17, 2.15 to go in the half. Malloy with a steal. Looked like he was hit as he stole it. Preventing him from going forward as Summer Creek takes the ball right back and a drive in. It looked like Corian Ballard tries to go in for the lay-in. And he's fouled. He'll go to the free throw line. 2.02 left. In the half, foul goes against Nick Storm, his first. more for Ballard. It's good. Two of two from the free throw line. Making an eight point game in favor of the Bulldogs. Klaus over to Storm. Storm. Trying to find White down low, they do. Finally, Malloy gets it to him, but there's a whistle before the shot is off. Foul against Summer Creek is White. Almost had another easy two points. But it's foul before he can get the shot off. Foul is on Charles Henderson, his second. White with the free throw, it's up and good. He'll get another one. to go until the half. Second one from White. Finds its way in again. Two of two to make it a 25-19 game. It's trailing Matthews. It controls it right now for Summer Creek. He's holding it. 
Now under a minute and a half. Storm. Tries to reach in and knock it away. Gets on on over to Ballard. Now Ballard. Gets it over to Ellis. Back to Ballard. He'll find Gray. Just passing the ball around right now in no hurry to get this ball off. And a turnover as the referee says Summer Creek stepped on the line out of bounds to the Mustangs. 46 seconds remain in the half. Storm. He finds Gresco in the corner and as he tries to find Malloy down low, it's stolen. Baller the other way. He comes up. He's rejected. Oh, an offensive foul will be called. Mustangs get the ball back. And we have a player down. Looks like it's Mitchell Klaus. As the training staff was about to come out, he's going to say he's okay to walk off, and he will come off. So that offensive foul on Ballard, he picks up his second. Ten team fouls apiece. Twenty-five seconds left. There's a pushing foul against Summer Creek, and Malloy will go to the free throw line for the one and one. First free throw is good. They'll get another one, 25-20. And 25 seconds left on the clock. Second one's up and good, making it a four-point game. Summer Creek coming down the other way. Now you may see them hold off in the last shot. Down to 15 seconds. Brian Mitchell holds. Kingwood Faithful chanting D up. There's a three-point attempt. Off the back iron, no good. White with the rebound, and that'll do it for the first half. 25-21, Summer Creek goes into the locker room over the Kingwood Mustangs. We'll be back for the second half. You're watching Texan Live.